19 days to go to London Marathon! Come on! Um, so close, I can actually start tasting the carbs in my body. I'm already thinking what spaghetti bolognese I'm gonna have. I love a good carb load, so we are definitely getting close. Um, so today, uh, it is Monday evening, and I have done my, I would usually do my standard 30 kilometers. Today, I did a non-standard 25 kilometers. Um, and I actually veered on a route that I haven't before. So I'm a road runner, I love my road running. Um, but today I decided to go along the Thames path. It was a lot of trail running and I absolutely loved it. Um, I got lost in the trails a little bit, uh, not actually physically lost, like lost in my mind. And it was beautiful. It felt like I was in a different country or in a different city. It actually felt a little bit like South Down Ways. I don't know if any of you have been there in the UK. Um, there's some beautiful trails there. It felt like that. So yeah, really happy I did that route. I will see you for track Tuesday tomorrow and I may just sneak in another heart rate fitness test um, because hey, it's still 19 days to go. It's only 19 days to go, but I don't want to put my foot off the pedal just yet. Heart rate fitness test number five. Mumbo number five. Um, just a reminder what it is, it's 16 minutes for 5 kilometers, so 5 times 3, 12 kilometers. The numbers to try and hit, last time I did this, the heart rate average was 164, and the heart rate high was 176. Um, this could be the last one before London, I might just do one more. It is definitely not cap and sunglasses weather, but hey, enjoying the last few days of summer, so let's do this. Fitness test number 5. Done. I've got some good news and some bad news. Um, the good news is that the heart rate dropped by one beat, which is actually huge. Uh, so it's, it's marginal gains. I'm all about the small wins in life. So that's a nice little confidence booster. The not so good news is that the VO2 max on my watch dropped from 73 to 72. But like I've always said, you know far better than your watch. So whatever, time to get the actual sesh done. It is muggy out here. And there we have it. Another Tuesday session done. Winter is creeping in. We're finishing in the dark here. Um, it was very, very misty tonight. Um, yeah, tonight's session was, it was quite a tough one. I mean, when is it not? I don't know why I build these sorts of sessions. So it was a down the ladder, up the ladder, ladder session. Two times 800, 400, 200, and then back up. 200s, 400s, 800s to get going on those last two 800s after the 200s while there's lactate in the legs was just a different story but hey teamwork makes dream work um that's a wrap every week track tuesday consistency is what it's all about nothing crazy just getting it done in the end it is wednesday and i've just finished my recovery run i did 20ks along the river um just pretty much zone twoing it i listened to some music to rufus de sol and just got lost in my own world Next thing I blinked and it was 20 k's later. So one of those runs that literally go past in the blink of an eye. Tempo Thursday, uh, about to head out for my tempo session. I've spent half my morning installing a new car seat for Haley, And I have a feeling the tempo session might just be a bit easier than that. That was not easy work. Um, but today on the cards, it is a tempo session 3332. So 3Ks, 1K float, 3Ks, 1K float, 3Ks, 1K float, 1K float, 2Ks. Um, and the point of today is all about control, discipline, and keeping the marathon flow there. So I need to be disciplined. Last week, Thursday, I pushed a bit too hard and I paid for it on Saturday. Today, I want to be working hard, but within my comfort zone still. Um, and just getting the legs used to marathon flow with sweet 16 days to go. Um, I've got my versus socks on over here that flow so nicely into the tempo next percents um i don't know if you can see right there but it is a sunny day out there feeling very green tempo session is done um you know what i wish i could have taken you with 
for that one however it was just over 24 kilometers and i didn't feel like running with a gopro for 24 kilometers but um nonetheless aerobically it felt really good um probably one of the best tempo sessions um physically wise it felt great um the legs are fatigued don't get me wrong the legs are tired and that is exactly what i want them to feel like uh with just over two and a half weeks left um, but pace wise slight progression went off at uh, 318s then 317s 316s finished on 306s so just a nice solid feel good sesh um, for the rest of the week I've got a weighted strength sesh coming up with physio Adrian um, and then I got a sports massage which I'm in desperate need of um, and yeah just oh on Saturday I've got a one mile time trial which is going to be very interesting uh, we'll give that a good shot and see what time we end up with in the middle of marathon training okay guys so like I said a lot of people have been asking what exactly is going to be my race day fueling strategy um, I've never hit anything in my training you'll catch all my training on Strava um, and this is exactly what I'm going to have nutrition wise like I said I'm here to help people not beat people so this is what I'm going to do it works for me like a charm so hopefully it'll work for you but if you have something that works for you do not change it stick with it it is not worth the risk come race day so starting from the night before let's go so uh, the night before I will have some whole wheat pasta um, and it'll be quite a dry meal so I'll have it with chicken um, and not too much sauce because that can obviously cause stomach issues and before I go to bed I will have a science and sports electrolyte drink when I wake up I might also have an electrolyte fizzy um, hydration tablet these are golden um, if you haven't had them before definitely get some and then morning of I will have two scoops of the science and sports electrolyte go drink from there I will have my peanut butter on toast so bread wise i have the rye sourdough bread i then have natural peanut butter this is whole earth um really really good and then i just have a a teaspoon of honey on top just to keep me sane in the head and it just makes all the difference in the world from there i'll, so I'll probably have breakfast about two and a half hours before the race i will then have a bar so either a kind bar or a tried bar depending on what i feel like on the day i will have that with an hour to go um <clears throat> from there pretty much an hour to go as well i will have my morton 320 drink mix so just the normal one and en route i'm gonna have a morton 320 caffeine drink mix so thankfully i've got one or two supporters en route that are going to give it to me um but that's going to be my drinks en route apart from that i'll just have a few little sips of water I then have the Morton Energy Gels. Thank you very much to Morton for keeping me fueled. I will take one at the start, one at 11Ks, one at 22Ks, and then a caffeine one at 33Ks. So pretty much three normal ones and one caffeine one. Straight afterwards, like I said, you've got the crucial window to get the recovery protein in. So I used to have the science and sports rego recovery um, really good. I now find that the tribal uh, ready to go uh, smoothies, protein smoothies are really good as well. So I will most likely have two of these because I'll burn a lot of calories come London Marathon time. Um, and last but not least, I will have a post race pint. So hopefully a little bit bigger than this one, regardless of how the race goes. No, let's be positive. It's going to go well and that pint is going to be delicious. And that's pretty much my fueling strategy from the night before to the end of the race. Stay upright, so try not to track forwards. Cool. Good. Hinge. Drive. Good. Just back off, don't go as deep. Go down, pause, drive. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> easy slash family Friday. Easy on the mind, easy on the body. <laughs> Haley is loving life <laughs> before tomorrow's one mile challenge. Uh, not that I'll be breaking any records, but we'll give it one good shot. And guess who's joining us today? There's Taryn, hello, and Stu. It's meant to be a rest day for Stu, but he came to join us for an easy jog. Tough coach you got there, Stu. <laughs> How far are you going today, Sarah? Uh, 26 days, last long run, and then London, here we come. Nice. 26 k's for her today, last long run, and then it's taper time, carb time. Looking forward to it. So today is one mile time trial time. Um, Going to be interesting. 
sort of towards the end of this marathon block. Let's see if we can get these marathon legs going. Um, it's been a while since I've done a mile time trial actually. From what I remember, it was pretty nasty. Um, but there's only one way to find out what it's all about. And yeah, all out efforts it's gonna be with being sensible. Of course, there's a much bigger picture. I'm actually doing seven more one mile repeats after this to, to make a session out of it. And it's the exact sort of session at this stage of the block to get some pop and life into the legs. Nothing too long and intense that'll stay in the legs. Come two weeks time. One, one mile time trial. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Um, 4.26 mile. Jeez. Seems like I can't find that extra, extra track here. But I mean, that's to be expected. I've been in those big marathon sessions. Oh, you know when you can taste the blood in your throat? Wow. But then again, I feel like I could almost repeat it now again. <laughs> so crazy, like literally, I'm marathon conditioned, a lot of fun. Time to do the session, come on. Okay, so two weeks to go until the showdown. Um, I've just finished off my last week. This week was not a 100, 100 mile week. It was actually a 130K week um, and the body can feel it. The body can feel the 30K is less than usual. Um, just a slight taste of the pop and bounce that I'm hopefully gonna get back into these legs. Um, it's obviously been one big training block and I've not had fresh legs for over eight weeks now. A couple more days and the taper starts. Um, but yeah, today is an absolute beauty of a day. And I think in two weeks time, I'm gonna need three things in my favor. One is hopefully a decent group to work with. Two is hopefully conditions like this with minimal wind and three is massive support and that I have no doubt will be there. In two weeks time, it is go time, come on. 